What's up YouTube, Alien Rides here, and today we have the Kingsong S18. It's one of the very first electric unicycles with suspension and it looks great. They did a few innovative things here with the wheel, but there's quite a few issues that need to be fixed. So let's take a look at some of the positives and the negatives in this unbiased and unsponsored review. Subscribe and let's ride. One of the things that I love about this wheel is just the amazing looks of it. It's got these beautiful curved lines, contrasting colors, and eye-catching suspension arms. It's not a boring box or circle like some companies make. This thing is stylish, and a design like this is necessary to take electric unicycles mainstream, in my opinion. Kudos to Kingsong for the impressive design and for pushing the envelope here. These looks come at a cost, though, with these contoured plastic panels that wrap around the body. They're on both sides, the top and the back, it seems like. These panels came with very small and fragile plastic clips to secure them, and now almost every panel on this unicycle is broken after a few small falls and drops. They need both a stronger material and better mounting for these panels. They're not built to last. In addition to the outside panels, we have some interior plastic rubbing as well. Yeah, I'm not really sure where that's coming from. Additionally, the mudguard looks great, but it was also falling off when I received the unit, so more secure mounting here is needed. I will be clear that many of these issues pointed out in this video have been potentially fixed in the production model. I've heard there's been a lot of updates to that already. We're going to give you our findings on this prototype though, as that's what we have. If we get a production model in the future, we'll see if these issues have been fixed there or not. So moving on, let's talk about the ride quality. Performance-wise, you're going to have pretty much the same power as the existing 16X Kingsong, but you'll get a little bit less range as this has a 1,100 watt-hour battery compared to about 1,500 watt-hours on the 16X. A 44 mile range is claimed, but real world range is probably about half of that if you're riding at higher speeds. Though because it's got a smaller battery, the weight is also not as bad as the longer range wheels. You're looking at about 48 and a half pounds, which is totally manageable. The 2200 watt motor can obtain speeds of up to 31 miles per hour, but going that fast is a bit risky. You might cut out if you overpower the wheel. I'd recommend keeping it in the high 20s or so. The primary value out of this wheel is of course the suspension. It definitely smooths out the ride, and you'll notice it instantly. We had an absolute blast riding around these sand jumps and doing a few stairs and such in San Francisco. In my opinion, trails and off-roading is where this wheel shines. It makes handling bumpy terrain easier, much more fun, and less tiring. Right, guys we had some fun filming today as you can see but the unicycle is totally dirty now so let's test out the IP rating unfortunately we had a couple riders try the wheel and we didn't have a great time when riding on the road the primary reason was due to some instability that we noticed at higher speeds the wheel has a very high center of gravity which causes instability and wobbles. Almost every comment from riders that tried it was about how high the wheel was. Your feet are really far off the ground. Like when you first put your foot on it and it's like a foot off the ground, you're like, okay, that's a like you ride with high heels on, huh? <laughs> we found that lighter riders, under 160 pounds or so, seem to get a lot of wobble on the S18 at speed. An untuned suspension can possibly also exacerbate the wobble. 
A friend of mine actually had a really bad fall on this SAT due to wobbles. He's a pretty experienced rider, but he still got pretty seriously injured. So is suspension a good idea for a single wheeled vehicle at high speeds? We're just not sure yet. Additionally, the high center of gravity can cause some amount of high siding. This is where the unicycle wants to flip to another direction when turning. Another feature that could use some work is the trolley handle here. It's very easy to hit the intermediate state where it cuts off the wheel. I was told that you can disable that in the app, but then you don't have a very easy way to lift the wheel as the tire will spin. I think that Kingsong needs to redesign it so it cuts the motor when lifted, or have an easy to grab handle at all times. There are a few features that I do like, of course. I think the tire is great, the headlight slash ambient light sensors are really cool features, and the USB ports are really handy as well. At a total price of $1,900, you're paying more for looks than performance with a smaller 1,100 watt hour battery. If it came with a larger battery and was better engineered, I think it would be a great option, and I look forward to seeing how the next iteration performs. It could be a really awesome toy for you if you like trail riding and off-roading though. I want to thank RevRides who gave us the opportunity to make a video with this wheel. RevRides is a really great seller, and should anything go wrong with your SUT, they would definitely take care of you. Given the issues that we've discussed here, I probably won't be getting many affiliate sales, and that's okay. Giving our opinion and accurate information is more important than a few affiliate sales. Definitely check out RevRides in the video description, and consider them for your next personal electric vehicle. That's all we got for this episode on the Kingsong S18. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Peace out.